Okay, I'm going to finish the flip through of this journal. I guess I talked too much in part one, so I had to move on to part two because it was just too long. So this is my gratitude journal and I'll finish the flip through. I was just um, about halfway through the first signature and I had to stop, but you're just, you're really going to see a lot of repetition in this junk journal because I use the same thing over and over again. I used tea dye journal paper that I cut up. I used graph paper. I used pattern paper from the paper stack, the primrose paper stack. And I used greeting cards that I repurposed on the, on the greeting cards. This one, for instance, I glued this note sheet that says, just for today, follow your heart. And then I put this um, piece of paper that I received from Happy Mail on either side, folded it, so that it creates a top. Um, this postcard I got for free from a coffee shop that I go to. Really liked it. It's got place to put it on the back, so I'm just tucking that in there. On this side, you'll see the other side of the greeting card and a tag that I made from a file folder that I tea dyed and stamped and distressed and sprayed. Put some texture on it. It does fit in there, I just can't do it with one hand. Tea dyed paper, these random notes, which you know I love. Paper from the Primrose stack, tea dyed from the dollar store. This is more paper from my Happy Mail. It's a lovely texture to it. Um, these greeting cards I mentioned before, I usually, there's something about them that I love. This one's the image, but I didn't want to say happy birthday, so I put part of a comic there, cover that up, the word yell. And on the back, um, again, put that comic back in journal. I, I, I probably gesso this and journal on it, but I'm not really sure, so. I won't have a lot of place for journaling in here because it is a gratitude journal. I have a few envelopes so I can put stuff in. Um, picked envelopes that I like the color or something about it. Obviously, I love butterflies, so that's good. There's nothing in there right now. More graph paper, printed paper, random notes. Um, this is a card. This paper is honestly so beautiful. It's got a beautiful texture to it. It's got a beautiful pattern on it. Um, so I just... Um, use gesso and acrylic paint to cover up the writing and I can journal on there. You can see the writing faintly, but by the time I journal on there, you won't see it at all. This birthday card, I just honestly love everything about it. I love the images, I love the color, I love the message. It's all about a butterfly and transformation. So I kept a lot of it, but I did gesso some parts of a little bit of space for writing and journaling. This came in my happy mail to create a top spot. The other part to that beautiful card that I love. The other part of the envelope. I don't think I have anything in there. Oh, yeah, I did have these um, tags. I took off that card and I want to use my journal, maybe even on the cover. And then I just tucked them in here so I have them for Paper came from my heavy nail from Barb. Thank you, Barb. I love it. Um, this is the envelope that I received from Barb. I put it in here because I love the envelope. Uh, I love the paper. I love the stamp. I love that it says happy nail. I can put stuff in here to use in my journal. This is a repurposed card painted one side and put a dictionary page on the other. Um, this is this is a journal paper, and then I put some, attached some pattern paper from the Primrose stack on there to make a, a little um, spot to tuck that in. This is the card that I took those butterfly things off of, and I can journal on there. Journal, there's a tuck spot here. Kind of a weird tuck spot to be completely honest. Pattern paper glued on the back. There's the other half of that tuck. Another tag. It's a greeting card I love because it says giggling and it's got three little girls giggling. My friend gave it to me so I can draw on the back of that. There's the other half of the happy meal and in this part 
I have some of the, some more things that Barb sent me with the Happy Mail that I will definitely be using in the journal. I just don't know where yet. So for now, it's just in here so that I can use them. I love those things. Um, this here is a beautiful tag that Barb made me and sent me with a happy mail. And I love it. It's distressed. It's sprayed maybe. I don't know what all it is. It's got stamps on it. It's got texture with these stars, maybe modeling paste. This is what inspired me to make these. And I do not like mine as much as I like hers, but good first effort, I think. Um, this is an envelope I received from my niece. And I just put some cards in there that I thought would be good inspiration for gratitude journaling. Um, this is a card that I received from my friend, and I love doggies, and I love the colors. And I love her, so I want to keep that and journal on it. Um, this card says, my pool boy thinks I'm hot. You are hot, the pool boy is correct. I love this image of the older ladies laughing and having fun, so I want to keep that. Uh, so I painted the inside and put, this is um, tissue paper on the back, and then I created a tuck spot with one of those little um, cutouts that she gave me. The other half of the doggy card. The other half of the envelope from Virginia, my niece. Um, these things here are really cool. What they are is they're the tops, two tiny little candles that I got at Bath & Body Works. But I thought they would make cool tags. And also they smell really good, so love them. Happy to have them in my journal. More tags, inspired by Barb's tags. More Happy Meal paper. There's, I think there's like 90 sheets in here. This is a card, really like the message. I got it from my brother, I want to keep that. And then I created a pocket back here. I can use this image of this card I really love, got from, from some friends. So put book paper on the back and painted the side. So again, more places for journaling. This is a dictionary page. Um, this is a card as well. And it's one of those ones that I was telling you about that has the three. So I was actually able to make a in the spot so it's glued along here. No, it's on there, so it's glued here and this is the fold. So, yeah. And this is happy nail paper. Same on the back, so it's just folded over at the bottom. Really love this journal. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's my first one, it's far from perfect. The cover's probably too big. My signatures are not even, but I don't care. I love it. I think it's awesome. And I know my next one will be even better. This is um, really beautiful textured paper from Barb. And uh, she must have painted it or whatever. I don't know what she did with it, but it's pretty. So I glued it in there to make a pocket. This is leftover paper from the cover. So I just folded it in half. You can journal on that, have it in the back. So this is definitely a work in progress. I will be finishing, adding more things to it as I go, as I journal in it, stamping, whatever, to make it mine, but finishing the cover, but I'm really excited about it. I hope you enjoyed the share, and um, I look forward to seeing all your shares.